Tony Racine of Essex, the long jump champion here today, goes 20 feet 5 inches. Uh, Tony, I know it's kind of windy, but overall, thoughts on the day and your performance? Um, I definitely think it could have been better. I was, I was kind of off of my steps a couple times. I've been trying out some new stuff, trying to see if I can uh, kind of lengthen my jumps out. So I think it was all right. It came out all right, but I just definitely I had a lot of room to improve. You mentioned you know, maybe a little off in your steps. When you're on in your steps, what does that look like? It just feels awesome. It feels good. All my jumps feel good. Whenever I'm on all my steps and everything, I had to think my first jump, I stride it out on my last two steps. And then uh, my coach was saying I was stutter stepping on my last four, I think. So I think when I get that dialed, then I'll definitely be doing some good stuff. Kind of along those lines, what, what was the important part of your jump today? Why do you feel you were able to go 20, 20 feet, 5 inches? Um, the speed. I'm starting way back farther now, and I'm getting a lot more speed on my jumps and everything, and then uh, I think I just need to work my landing and stuff, and it'll come together. You and Case Coleman of Bedford have battled uh, quite a bit this year. I know he's got the best of you a handful of times to get the best of him. Speak to that. I'm sure it's got to feel pretty good. It's good. He's an amazing jumper. I can't even describe. It's awesome being a sophomore and being able to jump 21 feet like that. So it's always good. It's kind of nice to have someone to battle against and know that I have a, play, a thing to shoot for. Crazy to think we're at like the halfway point of the year, kind of. I mean, how do you try to build off what you've done through the first part? Uh, I got a lot of a lot of stuff to improve on, and this is halfway through the year, so I guess I didn't even realize it was that close. But I guess you're right. So. Riverside's Dawson Henderson, the champion today in the 3200 at Lennox, had quite the battle with twin brother Brody to get it done. Uh, I mean, Dawson, overall thoughts on the race and your performance? Uh, Coach has told us to get out, run to win, not for time wasn't really competition so we just paced the first seven laps and then told us to give it all the last 50 meters yeah it looked like really like the first mile uh, was all about pacing and then you were able to dig deep in that last mile talk about that transition and how important is pacing well the first mile we just tried to hit our regular pace and then the last three three laps out of four we just pushed and then the last 50 meters he told us to sprint so that's what we did yeah you and your brother have a, a mad dash to the line um, it was a photo finish uh i mean one i imagine that's fun to have that with him but take us through that last 50 meters well he got a step on me and i i realized that so i just started sprinting and i caught him at the last like two like five meters i would say and i didn't know who won at the start but i guess there's me does this mean you've got bragging rights for the night we got the open eight, so we'll see. Uh, you know, I mean, get a chance to run with them like that. How, how fun is that? It's fun to compete in everything. Like cross country, we competed. And this, we go every other race. Winning. We're like halfway through the season, crazy to think about. You know, like three weeks from now, we'll get into state qualifiers. How do you feel about where you've been this season and what you've done? I'm excited to show what I can do at state qualifier. Hopefully get a good district and qualify in a couple races. Four by eight, maybe, maybe mile two. Well, hey, Dawson, awesome job today. Thank you.